I'm Melanie. Hopefully you saw our episodes from last week where we were doing cheat beer challenges and you saw how well that went. Anyhow, I did mention that I actually have had a few good loggers um, and I am hoping that this is one of them. This is a beer um, from a brewery in the Midwest called Surly and the beer is called Hashtag America and it is a lager, it's 5% and it really was made for heavy drinking on Independence Day. Um, we got ours a little bit too late for the cheap beer challenge but I'm kinda glad because I want to enjoy this particular beer. Um, on the back it says Surly Nation, tis for thee sweet beer of liberty. Oh say can you see through this golden hued pre-prohibition lager. So they're going old school um, when in the course of human events you need a beer for we the people, this crisp, refreshing throwback will refresh your constitution. Declare your independence for, from ordinary beer and enjoy the sessionable lager across the fruited plain of the land of the free and the home of the brave. So I am super excited. Um, and they are based out in Minnesota. Um, I am really looking forward to it. So, here we go. I know, it's in a can. I'm going to leave a little bit in the can because I want to compare. Um, because it really, beers do taste different from the can and from a glass. Some get better, some get worse, some stay the same. Luckily for me, it's a really big can. Alright, here we go. So, it is definitely got the lager yellow, um, but as we all know now, some of those are a little darker, some are a little lighter. Uh, but for the most part, they're all about in that same color family. This had a nice little head, not as big and frothy as you might want. Don't really care, it's hanging in there. It looks good. See what it smells like. I can actually smell it already from here, which is surprising because all the cheap beers we had last time, the aromas didn't jump out at you, but this one's already coming at me. And it smells like a lager. Um, there's nothing particularly exciting in that aroma, other than just good lager smell. Um, more aroma than some of the other cheap beers. There's nothing particularly off-putting. It doesn't smell terribly sweaty or salty like some of the others. A little bready. I like that though. Let's try it. You know, I really like that. So, the other lagers that I've tried before that I like have sort of a, a grapey flavor to them, especially in, towards the aftertaste. I do like that. Yep, tastes kind of like grapes to me. Um, kind of like white grapes. It's kind of, it's nice, it's refreshing. I do wish it was a little bit colder, but I think that's my fault. Um, and I'm going to try it out of the can as well. You know, I think the flavor is actually stronger out of the can. I actually do. I think, um, this one sits really well in the can in terms of maintaining that flavor. You don't get the aroma, but Lagers, to me, aren't really about the aroma. For a lager, this is what I was hoping for. Um, I think if we had tried this one against the cheap beers, it would have been definitely up there. I do like this. Um, for me, it's going to be... Um, a pass, mostly because I don't like lagers, but if you are in the lager group or if you're looking for something very easy to drink and you're in the Midwest area, I would say definitely get a hold of this one. It's very drinkable, fantastic for these cookouts that I know everybody's having right now. So yeah, 
at least try it if you haven't already bought it. And thank you guys again for watching Beer Fork. Thanks again for watching Beer Fork. I'm Melanie. We would love for you to subscribe so you can continue checking out our beer reviews and see what we're drinking. If you've got something to say about this particular episode, please like or comment below. If you want to see more of what we're drinking off air, we're also on Untapped, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and they're all a little bit different. And if you want to watch more right now, check out these two episodes over here. We've got our most recent episode and a random episode of Free Air.